Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, in this video, uh, this is going to be the first of the series of me discussing with you the subject of returning serve with your inverted rubber, with your normal rubber. Uh, although in uh, later videos I'm going to discuss the basics for each style, uh, such as you know, how would a long range defender use this inverted rubber, how would a passive or defensive close to the table player uses inverted rubber to return serve, how would an aggressive close to the table player uses rubber to return serve. I'll deal with those in the future, but right now just to open things up in this very first video, uh, I'm going to just discuss uh, I guess my own situation uh, and just uh, explain to you I guess what I'm going to be doing over the next little bit of the season and, and the reasons behind it. Um, and then, of course, you can use these sort of reasons to look at the, uh, the other videos down the track in, in light of those videos. So to start with, um, I'm playing an aggressive close to the table style now, which means that I want to be in attacking as much as possible and preventing my opponent from attacking me too much. Okay? Also, uh, when attacked, rather than going back to chop, I'm going to try to chop block or roll with the pips block or counter loop with inverted and maybe occasionally twiddle. Now in light of that fact I had to reevaluate a few things. Now this video was done uh, just a couple of days after uh, the uh, me putting up the little post on the on the front page of the site talking about the playing to win articles which I've hope you had a read of and I'll, I'll, I'll put the links actually um, with this video so that you can still reference them down the track. But my point is, uh, in those playing twin articles, um, which I hope you've had a look at, um, there's quite a lot of things that kind of uh, struck me how close they are to table tennis. One in particular um, struck me about the idea that if you're a, a scrub player, you know, you see something that works against you, somebody else uses something that works against you, and instead of learning how to counter it, you either just complain about it, or you ignore it, or you think to yourself, well, you know, uh, according to my way of playing the game, um, that doesn't really count. So if I lose, it doesn't matter. And that's kind of made me a bit painfully aware that in the past, I've tended to always say, well, my return of serve is not very good. Um, but I'm a defender, it doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, if I, if I improved it, I would do better against these people. It's just, you know, just the way it is. I just don't have time to work on return of serve and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of made me feel a bit of a scrub saying that. So I decided that, okay, I've got to improve my return of serve. Looking at that, as, an, looking, as I'm looking to be an aggressive player, that made me come to the conclusion that although, um, as you know, I'm trying to improve that flick with my backhand, with the, the long pips and obviously improve the flick on the forehand. That's not all I need, not as an aggressive player. Those are great when the ball is there and you can put it and, and but they also still give the opponent a chance to top spin. Okay? Unless you're moving it around very well, there's still a good chance your opponent may top spin the ball. Okay? So I thought it's not enough for me to have a flick against a short ball and only a long push as well against that double bounce serve. So only having a flick and a, a long push against a double bounce serve is not enough. Now I'll refer you also to the article, very good article Brett Clark, the current Australian coach, national coach, wrote on the importance of the return of serve and returning short. But where he's coming from is that in the modern game it's very very important to be able to return serve so that you can double bounce the ball on those double bounce serves of your opponent. Now I didn't want to do this. Okay, I was thinking to myself, well, it's too hard. Um, I'd rather push long and and get it safe, and then I'll try and I'll try and block the ball. But in all reality, um, I had to come to the conclusion that that's just rubbish, and I'm a bit lazy, and I didn't want to go to the trouble of learning how to really return the ball short and I'll need to do it with both the long pips and with the inverted side. 
So, how I'm approaching now my return of serve, I'm both with inverted and with the long pips. The idea is going to be, what I'm going to be trying to do is if they serve long, I'm going to try and attack, especially on my inverted side. If they serve long to the long pips, I will either, I may drive, roll, or chop block to get some variety, or occasionally twiddle and attack with the inverted on the other side. So that's long serves. I'm going to be generally aggressive with a little bit of mixing of the long pips. For the short serves and double bouncing serves, anything really bad that I can take advantage of, yep, I'll come in, I'll flick and try and put some real pressure on. Anything pretty good is either going to be a flick or it's going to have to be a very deep push on occasion. But more often than not, what I want to be able to do now is I want to learn how to take that very good double bounce serve and double bounce my return, okay? With both the long pips and the inverted, okay? I've been starting to work on this and I'm going to show you how I'm going about it. But what this is leading, to me, leading me to talk to you about is basically, it's this idea of, okay, I really don't know how difficult this will be. I've always said in my head, oh, it's too hard, it's going to be too difficult. I'll just push deep, I'll loop the long ones, um, and I, I won't really worry about it. But that's not going to be good enough. I'm, I'm really going to have to work on this. So I'm, I'm committing to learn this technique of putting the ball back, backspinned off a backspin serve, putting the ball back with backspin, double bouncing it, so that my opponent actually can't attack it strong. He can only push it or flick it himself, and then I can get in. If I don't do this, I'm going to be stuck with giving my opponent lots of opportunities to hit a, a, a third ball attack at me off my flick or off my deep push. And then I have to be, I'll be defensive a lot. And I really shouldn't be doing that. And I, I know it instinctively, um, I know it in theory, but I've got to do something about it in practice. And this is me starting to put it into practice. So, having come to that conclusion that I don't want to be a scrub anymore and I, I want to actually do what I need to do and develop the counter to somebody's good double bounce serves. Having said that, how do I go about it? Well, what I've been doing and what I'm just going to quickly demonstrate here um, without taking too much of your time is I've been setting up the robot to serve serves that are double bouncing around this area more often than not. Sometimes a bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter. Uh, I've been setting it up at the moment, I've got it on a very heavy backspin. Um, the reason I figured this is that if I put the robot on a serve with a lot of backspin, that is probably more than most humans can do, if I can control that and touch that back short with my own backspin, handling a human will be much easier. Okay? So I've started probably a bit harder than what I'd get in a match. I've turned my amicus head to the side to try and get some side spin. I notice with the amicus though, it really it doesn't bend as much as a human. Um, well, you know, so be it. It's also because it's probably, um, I don't know, it just, doesn't, it just doesn't do it as well as a human would do in terms of the side spin and... Um, as you go to a double bounce. If I let it go short, it curls quite well. As I push it with a bit more speed, the speed seems to kill out the better. Basically, there's not heaps and heaps of side spin on the ball. But for the moment, all I'm really concerned about is trying to touch it back short. Now, that leads me to one last thing I'll mention just before demonstrating. Uh, when pushing, when I was talking in earlier videos about the forehand push, you may remember I said a lot about push like this by tilting so that you can get a good swing. Okay? I still think for a push back from the sort of back from the table here, I still think that's good advice. But for this return of serve, I I don't find it quite so easy. I found it a little bit awkward to try and touch this ball short going like that. Now, maybe it's just me. And maybe it's just the fact that I've never really tried to short, you know, return short a lot. But what I found is rather than trying to come in, bend over so that I get my swing and do that, because I'm actually not using much swing, um, I found it actually much easier to come in fairly upright and 
instead of being there to swing, to do that. Now, I think in the past I've told people off for doing that and said, no, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> don't do that, it's wrong, you should be swinging from the side. And if it's in a rally, I think, yeah, you don't want to be pushing like this. You want to push like that. But I think for this return of serve, I'm finding that actually coming in and going, being able to do that, allows me to control the ball and get behind it and easily just touch it. Whereas from here, if I want to swing from the side for that same ball, if the ball say, landing, just hang on a sec. So if I want to take the ball about, oh well, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Okay. Say so just about there. If I want to push, I've got to come all the way to the side to do that and take it there. Whereas I can easily come in there. So what I've been finding is in this respect, I think rather than pushing, I think coming in like that actually gives me better control and probably easier recovery rather than trying to swing, tilt, come in. So I think in return to serve, yeah, this technique, and you'll, you'll see me do it. Um, I'm just about to try and demonstrate how I'm going with it. So that's in a nutshell. I'm going to try and cut down my video talking a little bit so that you don't have huge hour long videos all the time. But to recap, um, I had a look at the article talking about scrubs, decided that I've been making too many excuses about my inability to return the ball short. I decided that as playing aggressively, trying to play aggressively with my combination bat, I need to return the ball short to try and stop my opponent's offence. I want to stop him attacking so I can get in first, rather than having to be defensively blocking. In order to do that, I have to be able to have that ability to return the ball short so that he can't start the first big top spin. I still want to be able to flick, and I still want to loop anything long, but I, I need this ability to take a double bounce serve, drop it short, and stop his attack, make him push, make him flick, so that I can come in first. I'm going to have to have it. Having decided that, this is what I've started to do, started to work on it, and you'll see one of the drills that I'm doing, I'm doing several to forehand and backhand, but the idea is basically um, get the ball coming in for a good double bounce serve or roughly B, and I'm now just trying to find the bat angle and the touch angle to consistently be able to return the ball short. And of course on the forehand, finding it a little bit easier to come in there rather than come in and bend. So. Let's have a look and uh, see how we go. That's an idea of the session that I'm, I'm 
the idea of just one particular drill that I'm using to try and get the feel for that touch. And you can see that I'm really not tilting like I, as much as I used to. And, uh, you can also see I'm still missing a lot into the top of the net or bouncing twice off the end of the table. Uh, however, considering the amount of spin on the ball, um, I'm not that unhappy um, as a starting point. You know, considering this is sort of like my first day of trying to do it. But the idea be, being is that I'm going to keep working on this. I really do need it. Um, I think I can do it. I, I'm pretty sure I can learn the technique. Um, it's obviously going to be harder against a real opponent, but I'm going to try that in my training uh, against the guys I train with. I'm going to try and do some drills on it and also use it against them in matches. Um, because I really do think that in order for me to play well next year, I'm going to need this skill. Okay, excuses don't cut it. I, I need to be able to do it and successfully with confidence. The only way to do that is work my butt off against the robot, do it in training, do it in my matches, make a few mistakes, but get, but get better so that I can use it successfully. Now, having said that, the other thing, what I, the ramification of me doing more of these return of serve drills is that I'm going to spend less time working on um, big stroke technique. Okay? I'm still going to do some work, but this, this is my focus. This is what I really need to work on. Okay? I still need to work on this forehand technique a little bit, get that a little bit better. And my blocking, I'm still going to do that multi-ball drilling, for sure. But um, my rallying skills are not bad. Okay? I don't need a lot of work on generally my rallying skills. Okay? What I really need some work on is this. If I can return serve really well, I'll be in control of more of the, rally, more of the rallies and I'll be attacking, putting my opponent under pressure. Um, so if I don't return well, I'm going to be going to the Nationals, I'm going to stand up the table, they'll serve, I'll do bad or long returns a lot, I'll get the ball blasted past me and I'll always be on the defensive. So I've got to be able to take control of the point of his serve, put it back tight and hopefully get be the first one to attack and get in. Okay? So that, that's the plan. So there's going to be less of me rallying drilling, less rally drills. Still a little bit, I've still got to brush that forehand up, but my big focus over the next three months at least is going to be this returning of serve, and probably a secondary focus um, is I'm going to do it, get some about 15 minutes of service practice every day, of basic service practice, so that I can double bounce my serve whenever I want without making any mistakes. I haven't done enough of that, I'm getting sloppy um, and it shows against a good opponent um, I'm serving too long. So that's going to be my focus. So in videos to come, um, that I'll shoot tomorrow, I'll talk a little bit, I think, about uh, just inverted in general, return of serve for the long range defender, um, both traditional and modern uh, type. Uh, the Also uh, the passive, defensive, close to the table player and the aggressive close to the table player. Although, in truth, I think most aggressive close to the table players are probably going to be needing to do something similar um, to me uh, in that respect, simply because uh, otherwise, if you're letting your opponent attack you a lot and you're trying to be getting your inverted in, um, there's going to be a lot of cases where he'll he put the ball past you. Whereas if you're a defensive passive who prefers to just cover everything with the pips, if your opponent attacks, you can do that. Where I find if I'm waiting here and my opponent attacks, I'm sometimes getting caught a little bit. It's a bit tougher. It's better to be the one attacking than the one waiting for the attack. But that's to come. I'll, I'll get into that a little bit um, tomorrow and get that up for you. But uh, you can see where I'm coming from here is uh, as a close to the table player, I have to take an honest look at what I'm doing and say in order to give myself a chance, my opponent's doing this, I'm having a lot of trouble with good serves, good double bounce serves, um, I always push long or flick um, and my opponent comes in and attacks it, now I'm going to try and practice, I'm going to work on that counter, just like the article said, that's my counter and then hopefully um, I won't have to make excuses, I'll have uh, a better game and uh, have better results. So. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, come back and uh, see you again tomorrow.